Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Happy New Year. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Marissa has a night off. A Scarsdale, New York family of five is among the dead after a charter plane crash in Costa Rica. They've been identified as Bruce and Irene Steinberg and their sons Matthew, William, and Zachary. Five other Americans are also among the dead, and two crew members were killed after the plane crashed into a wooded area yesterday afternoon. The cause of that crash still under investigation. Hundreds of people in our area kicked off their New Year with a run. They took part in the Southern Tier Running Club's Big Flats New Year's Day 5-mile run to promote starting the New Year in a healthy way. Runners took off from the American Legion at noon. If the miles weren't challenging enough, those conditions certainly were, with the wind chill dipping below zero. Winter hats were guaranteed to the first 100 pre-registered runners, and they certainly got to use them. Confetti, fireworks, entertainers, and a giant crystal ball all helped revelers ring in the new year in New York City's Times Square. Celebration was the second coldest on record, temperature being only 10 degrees at midnight. Partygoers bundled up in extra layers with warm hats and face masks while dancing and jogging in place to ward off the cold. It was also tighter security than ever. Party went off with no major problems, though. Overnight, hundreds of sanitation workers were hard at work as well, cleaning up Times Square and the surrounding area. Cleanup, of course, is always a massive undertaking. Last year, workers removed nearly 50 tons of debris. With this winter weather, experts say it's a smart move to invest in some winter tires. All-wheel drive can help keep, from, uh, keep a car from getting stuck, but your tires can make a bigger difference when stopping or steering in the snow. Winter tires have deeper grooves to channel snow and keep more of the tire in contact with the road in bad weather. They also have rubber compounds formulated to improve grip in cold conditions where standard all-season tires just might not hold up. New winter tires generally cost about $1 to $200 each. After some bitterly cold conditions, we are finally looking ahead to a warm-up. Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers is up next with your Big Fox forecast. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. And welcome back, everyone, and a good Happy New Year's Day to you. Temperature-wise out there, though, pretty cold across our area with temperatures basically into the teens. Here late this afternoon, 16 degrees, a high temperature, Elmira, Watkins Glen, 19 degrees, or 14 degrees, I should say, in Ithaca, 19 down in Williamsport, and 15 degrees in Mansfield late this afternoon. But when you factor in those winds, yeah, those wind chills late this afternoon were anywhere between minus 12 and Tawanda. That's what it felt like with the winds and with those temperatures to minus 3 in Elmira, minus 7 degrees. I feel like temperature in Corning. It looks like even overnight tonight, as winds do kind of die down a little bit, we're going to still have to deal with some wind chills, though, as we could see wind chills down between about 5 and 10. 10 degrees below zero as you wake up on your Tuesday. Take a look then at what we can expect to see as we go through the day on Tuesday. Now, you are by our forecast to start out again temperature wise in the single digits as we head through the day. Now, eventually getting back into the 20s by the afternoon. We'll go for a high of about 22. That should be by about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But the bottom number is your wind chill. Again, could see wind chills down to minus 8 as you start the day around 6 o'clock in the morning. But then through much of the day, those wind chills basically staying into the single digits as we head through the day. Again, partly to mostly sunny skies in our forecast. What else can we expect to see the next couple of days? Really going to keep the cold temperatures out there. And again, a little brisk too. Wind's only about 10 miles per hour, but it doesn't take a lot of wind to produce those wind chills across our area. Even by Wednesday, just a mixture of sun and clouds. We may see a few scattered snow showers back in the forecast as we head to the end of the work week with temperature wise actually getting a little bit warmer though as we do head to the end of the work week could see temperatures moderate just a little bit across our area. So this cold weather in the forecast for your Tuesday again a few snow showers around there may see a few flurries overnight tonight not really that big a deal but definitely going to see the cold temperatures and those wind chills to deal with as we head into not only tonight but actually into tomorrow as well. Overnight lows tonight single digits across much of the area seven degrees the overnight low in Elmira and eight degrees in Watkins Glen mostly cloudy can continue cold out there partly sunny again brisk and cool across our area temperatures get back into the 20s in most areas go for a high of 22 here in Elmira. Seven day forecast keeps the 20s in the forecast as we head through the next couple of days. Pretty good chance a little bit of light snow possible by Thursday or Friday. Again, could see a few snow squalls come in on Friday afternoon. So it may drop an inch or two, but then drop temperatures too back into the single digits for Friday and Saturday before we eventually get back into the upper not upper teens to near 20 on Sunday. And then yeah, almost a warm up next week with temperatures close to 30 
by Monday, but could bring another chance of some snow by early next week as well. But just the next seven days look very frigid across our area, temperature wise, looking very cold. Then you put just a little bit of wind with that. It doesn't take much wind actually. And our winds tonight only about 10 miles per hour to really produce those wind chills into the single digits below zero here the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. yeah, and of course, if you're starting with just the single digits, like this upcoming <laughs> weekend, it yeah, doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all, that's for sure. We get really below, uh, below, air, uh, below zero for, uh, pretty quickly with those temperatures starting in the single digits. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Mm -hmm. In upstate New York, a police officer found himself in a squirrely situation involving a cookie thief, and it's all caught on camera. On Friday, officers responded to the report of a squirrel inside the house eating cookies. Yeah, body camera video shows the squirrel lunging right at the officer after racing across the walls. It wasn't easy, but officers were eventually able to corral the critter and release it back outdoors. But I'm sure it wanted to enjoy the warm temperatures, I'm sure. And the cookies. That's for sure. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a good night. Thank you.